I love all the art in this city. Inglewood is a fantastic place to explore and enjoy your artistic side. From the sculptures here at the Civic Center to the murals along South Broadway, a place you shouldn't miss is right inside the Museum of Outdoor Arts. Hey, I'm Tim Baca, Director of Programs at the Museum of Outdoor Arts. Uh, welcome and let me show you around. So first you have our permanent installation of a cabinet of curiosities and impossibilities. It's based partly on nursery rhymes and partly on fairy tales. The Museum of Outdoor Arts is actually a 40-year-old organization. Um, our headquarters and indoor galleries and about half of our collection is based here in Inglewood. In this gallery, we feature sound and light-based installations. There's always something unique and interesting to see in this gallery. There's a lot of art around Inglewood. What all has MOA contributed to? We were responsible for wrapping the traffic signal boxes down Broadway in downtown Inglewood. Uh, we put in a creative crosswalk and multiple murals over the last couple of years. So we do all kinds of different things rather than just uh, permanent sculpture. This is our white box gallery. Uh, currently it's featuring an installation that's immersive and experiential uh, by our artist in residence waveform. When I step into the iris, we're gonna be going to a different portal. So over the years and in, in my time here in Inglewood, I've definitely noticed art changing. Uh, there's a lot more mural work. There's a lot more sort of street art that didn't used to be here. Um, and I think it complements the permanent art that we have, which is really nice uh, for the community to enjoy. All right, so I'm walking you through different uh, gallery installations. Um, the ones I'm showing you now are featuring our Artists in Residence, which is a six month program. Artists take over the gallery space, they work in there, and then they install an exhibition. We really pay attention to the local art scene and what's going on. Um, and so it's really just staying engaged with local artists and also the national and international trends. So just kind of staying abreast of everything that's going on. So right now we're standing in our studio um, in the back of house at the museum. And this is where we do a lot of our programs, so our education program, Design and Build specifically. So some of the pieces you've seen out in the gallery were created here in the, in the studio. Tell me a little bit about your Design and Build program. Design and Build we've been doing for about 30 years. It's a youth education program. We work primarily with high school and undergraduate level students to collaboratively create artworks for the gallery and community. 90% of the programming we do is typically free of charge. Every now and then we'll bring in a different exhibition that just has higher pr production costs and so then we will have to charge a nominal fee. Art definitely brings culture, a cultural element to any sort of community. Um, our mission is to make art a part of everyday life. So what we like to do is integrate art into everyday environments so that everyone's exposed to it, whether they really consciously know it or not. Hey.